background is a uh, ad lib improvisation of Sean Lane, Jonas Helberg, and I'm sorry I forget the drummer's name. It is written in the comments. It's one of my all time favourite clips of Sean Lane uh, at NAM 1996, and I think that's when this guitar was launched. Unfortunately, if you didn't happen to know, Sean Lane died in 2003. He suffered all his life with um, serious medical health problems which caused a lot of pain and caused Cushing syndrome which made him very large. He was also a brilliant pianist and also a bloody good singer. <laughs> anyway, this is his guitar, or his design. I don't know if this is going to be upside down or not, I don't know which way around I'm holding his tablet. And the trem bar's not in at the moment. I took it off because I was doing something that I'm not a trem bar person much. See if that's the right way up. And back. You can see that that comes from the, it's been cut. That's the most expensive cut of a uh, piece of maple when the grain is that way and it's, and it's quite narrow. The body is French older and in bright sunlight that glows amber. And that's about all I can say. Weighs 6.6 .6 pounds. Flat fretboard, exactly the same action all over the uh, fretboard because it's flat. Um, that's, that's a Damasio pickup. Damasio. They're made for Patrice Vigia, so is the bridge made for him especially. And here you've got, whoops, where'd he go? I can't see. There it is. I'm terrible at this. I used to be a professional photographer um, for a few years, a long time ago. But that was another matter. Anyway, the nut. It's got zero frets, six, one for each string, so six there. And then the nut, then the nut muffler to stop string ring. A little tree there. And the huge locking nuts which help with sustain, incredible sustain, and it means you don't have to wind your string around. Can you see? And that's probably enough for now. Its tone is astonishing, particularly my favourite place to play is all around here, and then expanding, and it's just amazing. Um, and there's this, comes through the back strings. Six string. They also make fretless ones, but, Bumblefoot's got uh, a double neck, twin neck, which is like this one. Um, but I think he's got a slight curve in his fretboard and the other part of the twin neck is fretless. That's designed by Sean as well. Oh, shut up, let me just do him for a second.
do know the drummer's name, but I can't recall it right this second. It's not his usual drummer. It is, um, I can't remember his first name, his surname's something like Sype. But this guy is, um, I've seen other stuff by this guy. I'm sorry, I forgot his name, but he is an excellent drummer. Oh, I do like drums. I wanted to be a drummer. I wasn't allowed to. Too noisy. I wasn't allowed keyboards. Too noisy. Um, piano, I should say. Ended up. Oh. Thank <laughs> you. 